You guys did it. Yeah, turns out it was easy once we started working together. Hmm. This was no small feat. I still can't believe the storm and arc from the children's song was real. Me neither. You could have knocked me over with a feather. No real explanation as to the... The lore behind the storm and arc, though. Oh, look at that! For a job well done, Tulin. Wait, what? This bow was it meant so much to you, and now you're giving it to me? It was always my intention to give it to you once you came of age as a warrior. Dad. Thank you. I'll prove to you I've become a warrior wor worthy of carrying it. One thing's still bothering me, Link. You know that woman who called herself the Sage of Time? From the vision we got after I touched the secret stone? Not only did she look familiar, but she even said your name. Do you really think that was Princess Zelda? And if it was... Did the princess go way, way back to the time of my ancestors? I'm not the only one who's seen her, though. There's been sightings of the princess in other regions, too. Hmm, there's still so many questions. I gotta know more about the figure we saw in the Stormwind Arc, so I'm gonna look into, into it personally. Next time you see me, I'll have more information about Princess Zelda, so check in with me sometime, okay? And remember, with my sage's power, the two of us can keep working together no matter what. The Vow of Tulin, Sage of Wind. Proof of the Vow of Tulin, the Sage of Wind. Use it to summon or dismiss the Avatar of Tulin, the Sage of Wind. Okay, Jose. And more so than that, let's bring Riju back because I miss her. Uh, no. Where is she? Am I blind? Oh, I'm blind. More so than that... We have quite the reward. We, we got a heart container. That's cool. We're going to start dying a little bit less. Uh, as soon, also, we're going to be able to uh, start getting some defense. Because we now I now know the mechanism by which we... Uh, I don't want to visit the Slippery Falcon ever. Um, and I uh, would appreciate it if you never asked me again. But I have a bunch of spirit orbs I need to use. Give me stamina. I'm still sticking. I'm going to die on that hill. I'm going to fall on that sword. We're going to fill out our stamina first. It's going to help us explore a lot easier. And generally just make the let's play go a little bit faster. I mean, we're at... <laughs> we're not even halfway through the story of this game. And uh, we're at episode 100. So, I mean, uh, arguably we're, we are at the halfway point of the story. But I'd wager to guess that we're probably like... A third, maybe 40% through. Another stamina vessel, and then let's get the last one. A full stamina bar. This let's play just sped up exponentially. Or I guess it'd be... I guess it wouldn't be exponentially, but, you know. It's, it's sped up linearly. On a linear graph, it is faster than it was before. And that's important. Okie doke. Uh, let's see. Before I, I leave this this town behind, I'd imagine there are probably some things for me to be doing here. Uh, you needed stamina, Kobas. I don't think I have that. However, I, I also uh, think that there is a way for me to get... That's not what I want. The Falcon Bow. Because in... Uh, yeah, in Breath of the Wild. Or I guess in, um, in Breath of the Wild. And then also... Uh, the Grudo Town. I was able to exchange diamonds and a bow for for the super bow. Uh, it's probably... Don't need you. Up here? Tulin! 
Who knows, right? Hey. Hey, Link. Thanks to you, life in Rito Village is slowly getting back to normal. I've been looking into leads about Princess Zelda, and I'll let you know right away if any of them go somewhere. <sighs> oh, yeah, one other thing. I don't think this has anything to do with where the princess went, but Hearth asked me to help him sort through some ancient literature. You'll never believe what I found written in one of his books. <sighs> Sternita, Gothlums, and Sherfins. Hidden treasure sleeps in the center of the three secret hot springs in the mountains. Guide the three waters to that place. When it fills, the slumbering treasure will awaken once more. It's gotta be something good. There's gotta be something good waiting for the, whoever solves the riddle, right? Secret hot springs, huh? I've been to the Sternita hot, secret hot spring a few times. It's northwest of Rito Village. <laughs> it's the best. A quick soak is enough to heal your wounds in the blink of an eye. It keeps you from freezing, too. But I, I don't know about the others. The Heber Mountains are a big place. I'm not sure we could cover all of them. But that slumbering treasure is pretty tempting. If only we could find it. Aha, cool. Uh, Teva, can I have your bow that you gave to your child? I was proud to bequeath my great eagle bow to my fully fledged son, of course. But it does leave me without the bow I've used for so long. An elder shouldn't go unarmed, so I'll be crafting myself another one as soon as I can. The bow I gave Tulin was a masterpiece. After many years of use, it was like another limb to me. It's... Doesn't actually work. It's broken. But I think I have it in me to craft one just as good. Mm -hmm. If you want your own great eagle bow, I wouldn't mind crafting for you one too uh, while I'm at it. I'll need a swallow bow, five bundles of wood, and three diamonds. <laughs> Those materials might not be easy to come by, but if you can collect them all, then the bow is yours. Huh. Do I, I have that, right? Hmm. I need a swallow bow. Isn't there... At least in Breath of the Wild, there was one right around here. Uh, bow. Swallow... Swallow bow. Swallow bow. I guess there isn't any more. So if I find a swallow bow, I can get the great eagle bow. And I'd imagine that the pots don't have bows in them. Uh, you had a quest, right? I think. I thought you did. Uh... Hmm, that cave, where was it again? Oh, hello. Hi. Hey. If it isn't the guy who worked with Tulin to save the village, everyone in the village is happy to stretch their wings again without them icing over, so thanks for that. And the end of the blizzard has improved visibility, too. It's much easier now to find caves where we can gather food. Uh. I saw one just the other day. In fact, while I was flying around. But I forgot exactly where it was. It had a rock wreathed in green light inside it, just like the one beneath the general store. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Just... Where did I, f I see that cave anyway? I found it while I was looking for that white bird. Ooh. Yeah, that's the cave, all right. You found it on your own, huh? I remember that it was near It was near when I where I saw the bird from the peak of Rito Village on the tip of Va Meadow's perch shadow. Ah, there is a mention of the Divine Beast. But I'd never found it again without your help, so I appreciate you telling me. Uh. Maybe I'll check it out as soon as I... I uh, yeah. Maybe I'll check it out as soon as... My word, I cannot read. Maybe I'll check it out soon to see what kind of food we can scrounge there. I bet Badoli would like to come along. Quest acquired and complete. Sweet. Okay, let's let's wander around this village a little bit more. Um, I... I'm not going to be leaving this region just yet. There's a lot left to explore. It's just, we did a lot of exploration with Tulin. We made a lot of, we had a lot of fond memories, but now we have visibility, and I would wager to guess that there are Nah, uh, maybe three more shrines in this area, and also quests ahoy, because this game isn't all about collecting shrines, which is great. I love that for us. It, there's so much more to it. There are quests. There's a lot of completion that isn't just tied to the amount of light orbs that we have. Although, those would be great to get too, since I've been dying left and right to common enemies, and I can't seem to get the combat down, so I might as well do the noob thing of having health to cover my, my own shortcomings. Are there any other quests in here before I leave this area behind uh, for the foreseeable future? Warm clothes, don't care. I have that, been there, done that. Okay, what's the Slippery Falcon? So you can stop talking about it. Hey there, mister. <laughs> now that it's warmer, we can get all the products we couldn't before. If there's anything the Slippery Falcon General Store can do for you, mister, come by any time. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I think uh, I'm good. Although I guess we had a quest uh, in in that regard, we had to get Staminoco Bass. All right, let's get to the highest place of this this uh, place and take flight. And I don't think it's gonna be as cold as it was, so I should be able to have a, a little bit more defense on me as I, I go about this area. Uh, I kind of also want to get on top of 
I kind of want to get on top of of this play of the uh, Rito domain. So I can make my way atop this. Not gonna lie, that boss fight was really fun. It was it was easy. Um, I think I played it pretty well compared to every other combat where I don't play well. Um, I, I think I maneuvered pretty pretty decently. I caught onto it really quick. Um, I don't think it was hard at the end of the day, but it was it was a good fight. It was also cool to see a, a reference to Mulgara. Colgara. Uh are there any any shrines on top of those pillars? We've already been on top of this before. Oh, I should probably Probably equip my Korok mask, because those those are back on the menu. Oh Okay, I'm good. Whew. Extra stamina already coming in coming in clutch. Is that a Korok over there? Yes it is. That's a reward, but also I really climbed here just to see what I could see. For the first time we have visibility, so I think that I could probably I could probably mark shrines pretty easily. It's kind of crazy how many different methods, like different um completion quests there really are. Because when you think about it, we have we have uh what are they called? The the bubble frogs. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. We have the bubble frogs, we have uh, the Korok seeds, we have Tulin if he'll, if his ghost will show up. I, I mean, I don't need it, but it'd be nice for it to show up. Okay, I guess, I, I guess not. Uh, we have the like Carson building quests, which I can only assume that that is, oh, that's what's going on. I can only assume that that's something that we will get completion status on. Slot this in. There we go. And I really haven't made a lot of moves on the bubble frogs. Like, at some point in the Let's Play, and this is going to be really tedious, I'm going to have to go to all of the Lord of the Mountain uh, shrine locations and and open that Kinder Egg of marking every single every single cave. Which I actually don't think. Ugh, I don't think, unfortunately, that those disappear once once they've been collected. I think that it just marks caves that they were in. Can I get Tulin already? Where is he? Wait. What do you mean I can't summon here? This is just like when I had actual Tulin and he was picky about everything. Oh, my word. You know what? Marking this. Moving on. Unless I see it immediately, which I do not. Oh, there we go. We had to get the cutscene. Hey, bud. You're not as creepy as you were before, somehow. I don't know how you managed that, but you're not as scary anymore. You're actually kind of chill. You don't say anything. You don't appear in my blind spots. I kind of expect you. Hi, wolf. Um, you know what? I want the meat, and... There was a time when I didn't kill wolves. That I think those times might be gone. Uh, you're you guys are here. I don't really care about any of you. Although at some point, again, once I have health, I, I will start caring. And we have. Whoa. <laughs> uh, it looks like we have we have some quests to find uh, hot springs. So I, I at least need to keep an eye out for those. I, I know that where there... Yeah, there's this one. Is there something I can... I'll mark that with a pot. And we need to find where they intersect and then apparently somehow reroute water? I Don't don't tell me how that one works. I already know not to go down there. Wait, are there... Is there an updraft there? There's an updraft here now? Why wasn't there one before? That's crazy. I hate that. Why is there... Is there somebody here? No, but there's a Korok seed, apparently. Oh, well... Oh, it's the Elder! The old Elder! Hi! Is this a swallow bow? Ho, ho, ho. That archery scent is left over from past training sessions. It's a shame they're simply collecting dust, but I have no other plans for them. You seem like someone who could put them to good use, Link. They're yours if you want them. Thanks, I do. Swallowbow, yes! Uh... 
drop this. We're, we're gonna replace it with a better bow. Oh, ho, ho. Hello there, Link. It's been a while, hasn't it? Tama told me all about all what, uh, you know, he told me things. How, with your help, that wretched blizzard is finally lifted. What's more, I hear you looked after young Tulin every step of the way. You have my thanks and my admiration for whatever an old bird's admiration is worth. <laughs> as you no know, doubt surmised, I retired from my position as elder and entrusted the village to Taba's leadership. I now spend my days here at the flight range, helping to mold the next generation of Rito warriors. I regret to say that the blizzard ruined our old training equipment, but rather than try to recreate the original course, I've taken the, uh, this opportunity to prepare a new one. In this course, individuals will train their wits and agility by passing through a series of floating rings. My hope is that this will teach young warriors to fly more confidently even in the unfriendly skies. That said, no one has actually attempted the course, as I only just finished it. Hopefully a brave volunteer comes along soon to try it out. Care to try it? Yeah! So you're stepping up, you want to try my training course. What a surprise, ho oh, oh, ho, and an honor. The rules are simple. You can fly you pass through as many of the floating rings as you can before time runs out. Oh, and don't stray too far, hmm? You'll be disqualified if you leave the flight range. Since this is your first time, I'll go easy on you. Let's say 15 rings is enough to earn a passing grade. Manage that and I'll give you a fitting reward. Let's do this. Marvelous, I'll show you to the starting position. Ready? And then on your mark, it's set. Go! This seems easy. 15, huh? Yeah. It just a, a swooping motion. Ten seconds left. There we go. Twenty. Easy. Easy peasy. Oh, you cleared all the rings. Well done. Well done, Link. You passed with flying colors. <laughs> do you have a pair of wings hidden under there? Actually, funny you should mention that. I do. <laughs> You've set a high water mark for my trainees to aspire to. Clearly, I picked the right Hylian to give this course a spin. Please, take this. It's money. It's money. Uh, give me the advanced course, because maybe you'll give me another, another part of this set. Give me that advanced course, dog. Take your money, you old... Coot. Get it? Because he's a old and he's a owl. Okay, this is going to be a little bit harder. Oh, never mind. This is easy. Okay, hopefully this isn't... I don't have to be too perfect on this because I'm not... Uh, this... Look at these from below, I think. This one is actually a little bit harder. I don't really have the exact order these are supposed to go go down in. Ten seconds. I don't know if I can get all of these. Let's get this right, get this right. Come on, come on. These are the last ones. Yeah, cool. Huh, two seconds to spare. You cleared all the rings. Well done. That one was noticeably more difficult. I can't believe it. You passed through all the rings. What an incredible showing. I'll record what I saw today so that posterity will know of the flying Hylian. <laughs> Please take this. Ooh, nice. Golden rupee. Uh, does this give me a golden rupee every time? If so, I might actually do it a couple times. At least one more time. Easy. Ten seconds left? Ooh. Easy peasy. Do you have a bigger challenge? Because this one is clearly Ooh. meant for babies. Oh, just silver rupees on repeat attempts. Okay. Ooh. No, we're good. Thanks for the stuff, bro. Where on earth is this Korok seed? There it is. I, I really don't want to backtrack everywhere where we've gone. Although, to be fair, I'm cutting around, so it doesn't much matter. Hmm. I don't think that the the hot springs are necessarily something I'm just going to, like, 
I can search out specifically. Although, finding another one would probably give us the location of the last one. Okay, this is the lake. You know, there was a secret cave down here somewhere. Whatever happened to that? Let's, let's go find that. I was wondering that earlier, and I just never saw it. Where is... Where is the secret cave? Yeah, it was at the docks, wasn't it? There was a crack we could go through. Was it not right here? There's another updraft, but there was... I'm not crazy, right? This is where it was, and there was a crack that we could slip through and, and kind of climb around some we a weird cave structure, but it looks like it might be gone. Okay. Are there two Korok seeds here? There... Oh, this is a fan. Okay. There's a fan here, huh? Hmm. Hmm. It would be really efficient, and it would make a lot of sense if you built a boat. That's what you're going to build, right? A boat? What are you doing? What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? What are you doing? Koroks aren't meant to fly. <laughs> I can, I, okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good. I was gonna say, is this too heavy? No, it's fine, it's fine. It looks like Koroks don't really weigh much, thankfully. Okay, this wasn't a terrible solution. It was fine. Ah! <laughs> You're here! Thanks for bringing my friend. Thanks for the plane. The plane crash. You jerk. I hate you. <laughs>